Good morning, I'm Tim Archer, and we are reading through the Bible. And we're in John. We're starting the Gospel of John. We're reading the first three chapters of John. Great time to start with us. We're going to read from here to the end of Revelation by the end of the year. And, and so if you don't have a reading plan, if you're not doing a regular Bible reading, great time to join us. John 1, beautiful poem about Jesus and his, his incarnation and his divinity and the salvation he brought. There's so much theology in, in those first verses of John. Then you see John the Baptist identify Jesus as the Lamb of God and Jesus finds his first disciples. And, and then we go through chapter three and we see John's ministry and, and more reflections on Jesus and, and what he came to do. I wanna look in, in John two at, at a couple of events that are back to back. First, we see Jesus in um, Cana at a wedding and his mom comes to him and says they don't have enough wine and he says it's not my time yet and, and she says to everyone do whatever he tells you and and Jesus does his first public miracle at least his first sign as John calls it changing water into wine and I know that sometimes we want to argue well it wasn't really wine uh, it was wine it was wine somebody said Jesus turned water into wine and people have been trying to turn it back ever since um, it's pretty clear that God doesn't have a problem with wine he has a problem with drunkenness he doesn't have a problem with wine now after being in Cana, Jesus makes a trip to Jerusalem. And there you see him go into the temple and clear the temple. And it was because of the, the, the buyers and the sellers that were there. And, and that wasn't what was supposed to be going on in the temple. And I just have to think that so many of us would be uncomfortable at the wedding where there would have been drinking and probably dancing the the not the you know man with woman like we see in in dance clubs but the the round dances like they would do back then but you know it, it was a celebration and there would have you know been things that might have made some of us uncomfortable and then you go to the temple where you expect okay here we're in a religious place everything's good and jesus turns over the tables and runs everybody out jesus was willing to let people enjoy life and help them enjoy life. And he wasn't willing to let people just do business as usual in his father's house. And I think we need to recognize that we need to be open to enjoying life and closed to people who want to distract the church from what it's about. Let's pray, Father God, we want to learn from Jesus how to eat and drink and enjoy, to live and, and recognize the good things you put in this world for us. We also want to be able to worship you in holiness without distracting ourselves with, with things of this world. So we ask, Father, that you teach us to be comfortable in celebrations, and comfortable worshiping you in holiness. We pray this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hope you have a great Tuesday.